Welcome to CAS Clean Air Services AG, which has been part of Particle Measuring Systems since 2016, the complete contamination monitoring solutions provider for clean rooms. We have been supporting our customers in ensuring patient safety since 1989. In this video, we would like to introduce you to the filter system's integrity test and explain how it is carried out based on ISO 14644-3. To carry out the test, you ideally need a laptop with special software to read out and evaluate the measured values, two laser particle counters, a dilution level with a dilution factor of 1 to 100, as well as an aerosol generator. At the beginning, the aerosol should, if possible, be applied in front of the fan using the aerosol generator, thus ensuring the ideal mixing of the air with the aerosol. The concentration of the so-called raw air is determined shortly before the HEPA filter is to be tested. This is done with the help of a particle counter and a dilution stage. The clean air is extracted in the clean room using the second particle counter. A simultaneous test is therefore possible. Since there are two test methods, this question can be used as an aid to select the right measurement method. Before we start with the filter integrity test, the filter system is equipped with an apron. This prevents foreign particles from the environment from falsifying the measurement. Let's start with the scanning process, which is again divided into stage one and stage two. In the stage one scanning process, a measure probe is used to scan the filter at a speed of five centimeters per second in slightly overlapping tracks. If an increased number of particles is detected while moving the filter, a measurement with a stationary probe is carried out at each position. This is the level 2 measurement. Following the measurement, the expected amount of particles is determined based on complex calculations depending on the raw air and filter class. The evaluation then takes place as follows. The effective number of particles is compared with the exact number of particles. As long as the effective number of particles is less than or equal to the expected number of particles, the system is leak-free. If, at level 1, the effective number of particles exceeds the expected number of particles, local leak verification is required at each position. While in stage two, there is a leak from the filter system every time the effective number of particles is exceeded. If one of the questions when selecting the measurement method was answered with no, then the integral measurement method should be used. The integral measuring method is a method that is less sensitive than the scanning method. Basically, the integral measuring method is a measuring method with a stationary probe. In order to increase the quality of the measurement, the surfaces to be measured should also be scanned with the probe with the internal measurement method. Even with integral measurements, the expected number of particles is determined by means of complex calculations, depending on the raw air and filter class. The evaluation is carried out again by comparing the effective number of particles with the expected number. If the effective number of particles is less than or equal to the expected number of particles, the system is leak-free. If the effective number of particles is greater than the expected number of particles, there is a leak in the filter system. We hope that we were able to give you a little insight into our service. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.